Yo, hi lads, it's Dario Turner, and today we're back with another icon review, and this time it is the baby Seedorf. We wanted to pick him up for 610,000 coins. He's going for around 680,000 coins, I think, of time of recording. So a bit of nice profit there. Like I said, if you haven't watched the other reviews, when we are doing an icon review, we do get the icon on a snipe just so we can make some coins. Uh, we do like to trade around here, so if you are interested in that, make sure to check out the other videos. And, you know, to get alerts on that, make sure you hit that sub button. But, like I said, baby Seedorf review. He's got 83 pace, 81 shooting, 84 passing, 84 dribbling, 71 defending, and 83 physical. He's five foot nine, high, high work rate. He's right footed, and he's got four star, four star. In-game stats, he's got 82 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, 82 attacking positioning, 77 finishing, 90 shot power, 85 long shots, 76 volleys and 78 penalties. Moving on to the passing where we've got 84 vision, 82 crossing, 79 free kick accuracy, 86 short passing, 85 long passing and 80 curve. Moving on to the dribbling where we've got 79 agility, 84 balance, 86 reactions, 84 in-game dribbling and 82 composure moving on to the defending one we've got 75 interceptions and 77 stand tackle with the other stats around 60 moving on to the physical attributes where we've got 76 jumping 86 stamina 84 strength and 78 aggression just off first glance i'm gonna expect him to be a bit of a pit bull run around that midfield get stuck in win the ball back and be able to attack Player traits, he doesn't actually have any other than the speed dribbler, which is a CPU trait. Obviously, if you want to check out his icon profile, well, there it is. But I'll show you the system that we are going to be playing um, Sadorf in. It is going to be the 4-2-3-1 Neil Guides' custom tactics. So make sure you go check him out if you want to you know, use one of his custom tactics. But in-game, this is the way it lines up. The bat line, the two CDMs, the three attacking mids, and the one striker. We're going to play Sadorf next to Bruno Fernandes in that box to box sort of position is how i play it you know two box to boxes none of them really need to be that out and out cdm we try and play quick attacking football but you know give him that chance to move up get some shots off see if we can get some assists but you know without further ado let's see how sadov performs in game one two with clarence get a little lofted pass off sancho get the pass across benzema just couldn't quite get the shot off. Nice bit of movement there. Playing the one two. Shot off. Easily saved by the keeper. Nice interception. Little through ball there by Sadov. Can Benzema win it? Challenging. Little attack. Sadov coming short. Playing the one two. Bruno driving forward. Getting the pass back off. Benzema and a quality finish into the back of the net. Good move there. Sadov linking in, um, starting the attack, and then a great little weird but great finish by Benzema. Nicely played. Bruno. Nice Sadov picking it up. Got the foul. He's going to go for the finesse. And he's rocketed it into that top corner. He did get booted. But he managed to stay standing. And then he uh, curls it into that top right corner with power. Clarence Seedorf. Nice pass. Use that quick feet. Onto his right. Foul ref. And we have won the free kick with Seedorf. We'll put him on it. Not taking one in a 90 degree stance. We're going to flick it down. Did that hit the post? I think that hit the post. Wasn't a bad effort for my first attempt. Spreading that play. Inside Valverde. Takes the touch. Gets it out wide. Back post. Clarence. Just about got his head on it. Good forward run. Can we do something here? Plays it out to the right. Finishes Junior. Good save. Left footed finesse. 
oh, we thought we'd test it. You know, we had that four-star weak foot. We can only try. Well, there we have it, lads. We have just played some games with Sadorf, 35 rated version. We played him in that box-to-box -box position, like I said I would. We also let him, you know, free roam a bit. We let him just move about, try and get the most out of the card. Obviously, we wanted to test what his attacking ability was like, just as much as his defensive ability. Um, if I had to say any comparisons to this card, um, you know, he's kind of got like that Valverde, Bruno Fernandes, and I'm only naming them two because I've played with them quite a lot in that position. You know, he can get forward, he will score your goals, he will get your assists, he'll create chances, but also when he's back, he's a bit of a rock. He'll get the tackle in, He'll win the ball and then he'll distribute it and drive forward. Um, and for my sort of system, it worked nicely. Like I said, he'd win the ball or say my other centre mid would win the ball. And then, you know, you go forward, you start the attack. Um, but the one thing I liked about Sadov is he felt strong. He felt very powerful. Um, and obviously when he took his shot as well, there was a lot of power in it. Keeper had no chance uh, in terms of his weak foot. We took a finesse from outside the box and it was very, very close. Like any other game that could have gone in. Um, would I say he's worth the 610,000 coins? Yes. I'd say in terms of what you are looking for, like, you know, he's Dutch. He's an icon, links to a lot of players. Obviously, he can help you build your team, whether it's a hybrid or, you know, you need certain links. Um, and I think, you know, he's quite a unique card. I don't think there's many like him. I think, obviously, then you'd be looking at higher price ranges. You're looking at, like, Hullet and so on and so forth. But this was a really nice card. But before I do, go ahead and give my rating. If you do, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and it's been helpful. And obviously, comment as well who you'd like me to review next. Or, you know, if you're going to go out and buy Sadov, let me know, you know, as this review helps you. But if you are wanting more reviews from myself or even, you know, we do trading, we do all sorts on this channel, make sure you hit that sub button. It'd be much, much appreciated. But... If I'm going to go ahead and give him a rating, like I said, I was really happy with this card. I'm going to go ahead and say he's like an 8.5. He's a pretty pretty solid, uh, complete midfielder. Like I said, I don't want to go and give him a 10 or a 9 because, well, you know, it's hard to find this card. Like I said, I played the 4 2 3 one, so it's kind of perfect to have an all-rounded centre mid. Um, but he's not an out-and-out -out CDM. He's, you couldn't play him really cam. You couldn't play him like as a lone CDM. Um, if you play like a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow maybe you get the most out of him maybe then you could go and say maybe he's a nine or so on and so forth but for me in that position i'm gonna go and give him a solid eight eight point five um yeah he did everything he ticked the boxes that i needed him to do and i was i was impressed so go and give him a try uh, and if you do let me know what you thought of him but i'll see you lads in the next player review